so hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we got another parcel and this one is from beyblade shop india so thank you guru for sending it out so yes i did buy a lot of base from him so let's see what i bought this time so let me open the parcel so guys look at that we got awful lot of base so let me show you one by one what i bought Okay, that's a lot of base. Okay, so so obviously we got a El Drago launcher. So very first we got a El Drago left string launcher. You can see the left string and the El Drago, and it's a black string one. So I heard that they are rare. I'm really not certain about it, but I think the black string launchers are rare. Let me know your thoughts. Like, what do you think are they there or not in comment section? Now let's talk about OG first. So in OG we got a Dragoon S. Looks cool, right? Reminds me of my old days, honestly. And this is Dracil S. Wow, what a bay, man! What a bay. I mean, I know that not a lot of people are fan of Max, but I kind of like the guy. So, and this is Trigger S. So here's Trigger S. So, so these three bays I bought. So you might be asking, where is the Dronzer S? So guys, if you are following me from a long time, you'll be knowing that I already have a Dronzer S. So I think I have to make a separate video to talk about this S series, four original bays. So the first team which was made in the first season of the original series. Let me keep it aside. So this is all the stuff we got here in MFB. So I got two El Drago destroyers. I don't know why I bought two of them, but to me they felt really sick. So I guess I went overboard and bought two. No worries, they are worth it honestly. So now we have a gravity destroyer. So it's not a 4D bay, but it's pretty good. And the metal face bolt, it's it's pretty good to have that. So it's pretty good bay. It can spin both directions, so that's a great bay to have. Then we got another El Drago. It's a pre-hybrid version of El Drago. Pretty good bay, I guess. So it is pretty much same to Lightning El Drago. It just it's a pre-hybrid version. So now. Talking about the pre-hybrids, we got a very good looking Pegasus here. So it's a pre-hybrid Pegasus and I think it's a WBB edition Pegasus. So I think it's a WBB edition pre-hybrid Pegasus. So good to have one. I already have a pre-hybrid Pegasus but this one is a bit special I would say. Now we got one more Pegasus, pretty good bay. So good to have. And now we got one more Pegasus here. That's a lot of Pegasus and Del Dragos. I mean, how many we bought? So three El Drago and three Pegasus. Okay. So this is a Big Bang Pegasus or Cosmic Pegasus, whatever you want to call it. So I guess from few days, somebody was asking me to make a review of Pegasus. So there you have it, the Big Bang Pegasus. So one thing is pretty common between the Destroyer and Big Bang Pegasus is if you take a look, so you can see when, when you launch the Big Bang Pegasus, the tip's gonna come out like that so you can see it's, it's gonna come out when you launch it but in El Drago destroyer it's it's opposite see so when you launch it it's gonna go inside so when you launch a Pegasus it's gonna be in balance or stamina mode whatever you want to call it then as soon as it loses stamina it's gonna go into attack but the story is opposite with the El Drago in the beginning it's gonna be attack type then slowly tip comes out and it's gonna be you know like a pretty stable at the end so when it comes to driver they are pretty opposite of each other and this rubber on El Drago helps to absorb some energy and you can you can open the 4d bay and you can change the position and you you can have two different modes so when you open it there there are basically two fusion wheels so by changing the position of fusion wheels you can you can achieve you know like different forms so two different modes you can access pretty much same thing you can do with the destroyer as well now here we have it the beauty the beast whatever you want to call it twisted tempo or basalt so this is a pretty heavy bay it is the second most heaviest MFB bay ever built. Yes, Twisted Tempo is pretty heavy. It's not a 4D bay still. It is so heavy that it can, it can outlast Destroyer, Big Bang Pegasus and a lot of bays. So this Twisted Tempo is pretty amazing. 
so before we wrap up this video we are gonna do three battles the first would be basalt versus gravity destroyer pre-hybrid pegasus versus pre-hybrid eldrago big bang pegasus versus eldrago destroyer so let's do three battles then we are gonna wrap this video so let me bring out the stadium and let's get with it so here goes basalt 3 2 1 let it rip here goes destroyer 3 2 1 let it rip and you can see why I say the why Gravity Destroyer is also a pretty amazing bait. I mean yes, Basalt did beat it. But you saw the fight it gave to Basalt, right? So Basalt is pretty heavy bay. It shook up my stadium. But still, Destroyer was managed to withstand a lot. So I, I like it. I like this bay. I mean it's not pretty crazy like Basalt. And it's not very, you know, like a low bay like you can ignore so it's pretty average base so i i like average base because you cannot predict if they're gonna win or not right so 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 that's a thumbs up for gravity destroyer and obviously for basalt as well but mostly for gravity destroyer now coming on to next pre-hybrid pegasus versus pre-hybrid el drago so let me launch them together i'll try my best three two one let it rip Why every time they move my stadium? Is it too light? What's wrong, guys? Okay, so El Drago won, and I guess uh, launch for the Pegasus was not really that great. You know what? I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, this time Pegasus won. So I guess this one is a pretty crazy bear. Yeah, so. It was not able to win last time because the launch was really not perfect. Now you can see this tip. This tip is pretty amazing and this tip is pretty aggressive and that's why it gets a lot aggressive. I mean, I have a lot of MFB base but this is the most aggressive one. So if you have this tip, this is gonna be a lot aggressive. Now moving on to the last battle, here comes the big boys. Eldrago Destroyer versus Big Bang Pegasus. So I'm gonna launch Pegasus first because when Pegasus is gonna get launched, it's gonna be in stamina mode. While Eldrago gets launched, it's gonna be in attack mode. I guess El Drago is able to absorb some spin. But honestly, my launch wasn't perfect for El Drago. So if it, it loses, then it's gonna be my fault. So Pegasus won. Obviously, Pegasus is an amazing bay. So, I mean, I like El Drago, but I hate to admit it. Pegasus is a little bit better than El Drago. So let's give it one more shot, then we're gonna wrap the video. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, El Drago is absorbing some spin, man. But is it gonna be enough to keep up with the Pegasus? That's we have to figure it out. So one thing I'm gonna say because it doesn't lose its balance. So while the El Drago at the end it loses its balance. I don't know because of its tip or driver or whatever. But it, it loses balance very easily while Pegasus stands tall. So many times I have seen this battle and in most of the aggressive stadiums Pegasus is a better bay. And that's my thought. It could depend on the stadium situation and million a lot of other things. And obviously it's your own personal preference. That's what you like. So guys that's it for today. I will see you guys in another video. Till then stay safe and happy blading. Oh.